Hey, what's up? So if you've been watching my videos for a while now and you've seen a few of my what I eat in a days or what I eat in a week videos, you may have noticed that I am a fan of soy. I eat it mostly every day. I drink soy milk, I like tofu, I like edamame. I like soy. I don't really have a problem with eating it. I try to like eat in moderation, but you know, not that much. If you're like me and you've been vegan for a while, you may have been told things like, I can't go vegan because I'm allergic to soy, or I can't go vegan because I don't want to eat soy and have man boobs. You're vegan? Isn't that a lot of soy? Isn't soy bad for you? So what I thought that I would do is to do a what I eat in a week but with no soy to prove that it is possible. It's just one week of my life, I'm just one person, but I just at least wanted to give you some examples of what you could eat and what a week might look like if you're vegan and you gave up soy. So stick around if you want to see what that looks like and stick around even more if you want to hear my closing thoughts at the end. See you later. We're doing this again because um, I feel like I'm more enthusiastic the second time I do it. Like when I, f the first time that I do it, I'm like just warming up. I'm just warming up um, to the audience. I'm warming up to the microphone. You know, I'm a little shy, I'm a little timid. I gotta, br I gotta give myself some time to break out of my shell. Yeah, so anyways, um, let's get this thing going. For breakfast, I had some peanut butter toast with some bananas and strawberries and chia seeds. For a snack later in the day, as I was running my errands, <laughs> I had a Lenny and Larry's chocolate fudge cookie. These are soy free, which was good to know. Also, if you didn't know, you can get a box of these things at Target for a reduced price, which is what I did. These are good as like an emergency small meal or um, large snack if you, if you wish. I just want to point out that their cookies may be vegan, but their brownies are not. So I know a lot of people have made that mistake because they just assumed that Lenny and Larry's is a vegan brand, but it's not. And on my errand running, I got, I went to the local Armenian market, uh, Mediterranean market, and bought some white pita bread and whole wheat pita bread. Very good, minimal ingredients. And then I got some hummus, this is regular and spicy hummus. Best hummus I've ever had in my life. If you live in the area, go check it out. And also I got some Jamba Juice. That's an apples and greens smoothie. As a snack during my class, my night class, I had this coconut clusters, which I'll show you the bag for later um not that interesting and for dinner i had one of those pita breads a whole pita round with some spicy hummus celery and broccoli and i know this isn't a good example i'm already starting starting the week off as a bad example for my viewers i apologize this semester is stupid i don't recommend doing this to yourself i had very late registration because i was a transfer student so all my classes are either at night or in the afternoon which sucks because they're all like messing up my eating schedule like this night i had like a big snack but i didn't have a meal and then i was just like waiting for myself to get hungry but i never got hungry and then at like probably one o'clock in the morning when i was trying to go to bed my stomach started growling so i believe that i got up and had a spoonful of peanut butter um and i was like half awake so i didn't film it but that's what happened and there's my story and then for breakfast the next morning i made a smoothie i like to call this my peanut butter and jelly smoothie because there's peanut butter in it and there's strawberries in it and jelly is sometimes made of strawberries so that doesn't acknowledge the banana that makes up most of the smoothie but um people sometimes don't acknowledge me and i'm fine with with it um this had frozen bananas it had frozen strawberries it had regular strawberries it had fresh strawberries it had peanut butter powder and peanut butter butter a good time i recommend it easy little smoothie almond milk also and the peanut butter adds a good amount of protein um i was just gonna use peanut butter powder to like try and like see if i could enjoy it with like reduced fat but then i was like no <laughs> I thought we would do a little, um, I would show you some of the things that I have found either have soy or don't have soy in my fridge and pantry because I found it intriguing and maybe you will too. Fun fact, I just recently found out that nothing in Chipotle has soy in it besides the sofritas, obviously, because it's tofu. Here's my pantry, uh, my family's pantry. Some of that stuff is not vegan. A lot of it is. There's these. I was going through the cereals. We can start with the cereals. These toasted oats, full circle brand. They 
have b barely any flavor at all. They don't have soy in them. They're just regular wheat. And I assume, okay, well, you know. And these sea stars, which I've shown before, they're made out of beans and they kind of taste like less sweetened fruity pebbles or like fruit loops or whatever. Those do not have soy in them. This granola that I like to eat a lot mixed in with, honestly, I like to mix it in with these toasted oats because this tastes really good and this tastes like card cardboard. It's more for me to chew while not adding like a lot more sugar or calories. Definitely wouldn't want to eat it on its own. This granola would be soy free if not for the soybean oil. Oatmeal, obviously soy free, depending on what you put in it obviously, but that's up to me. This chili that I like to eat when I don't have time to make a meal and I need some protein has soy oil in it. Another thing that should be soy free, but it isn't. This stuff, which is so good. Another easy like meal when I don't have time to cook something. Amy's brand Thai coconut soup. I think it has, li yeah, it has tiny pieces of tofu in it. So it does have soy. And this is also like, this is stuff that like, had just been in our fridge and pantry like without, I didn't really plan for this video. Besides the fact that we got almond milk instead of having soy milk in the house. <sighs> because I need to have my milks. This soup though, which is also really good, Thai sweet potato soup. This is good and it is soy free. So, got my beans. Peanut butter is obviously soy free. The um, PB2 powder is soy free. Oh, these things? My mom got these coconut clusters at Costco, which are really good, um, made with pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and chia seeds. And it is soy free. I had that as a snack during my night class last night. Spaghetti is fine, quinoa is fine, rice is fine, oats are fine. Probably a lot of like chips and cookies and cracker type things are not because they have soy oil. And let's see, this is the almond milk that we got, Almond Breeze from Costco. Um, I can't eat these leftovers because it's, um, it's not ice cream. It's spaghetti sauce with soy meatballs, but I can eat the spaghetti with this leftover plain sauce and just add like veggies and spinach and something else that has protein. Um, did you guys know that a table and a half, a table and a half, did you guys know that a table and a half has eight grams of protein? A tablespoon and a half of nutritional yeast has eight grams of protein in it. Um, I think that's wonderful. I didn't know that until just recently. I knew it had some protein, but I didn't know it had this much. Ooh, no soy milk. I mean, uh, soy sauce. And I feel like I'm accidentally going to use liquid aminos and forget that it's made out of soy. Barbecue sauce looks like it is safe. Sweet chili sauce is safe. Haha, -ha. Mustard, safe. And day of vegan ranch is I think also safe. Hmm. See, I think a lot of the time people see things like this, replacements, whether that's, oh, my chocolate chips are vegan. I mean, my chocolate chips are soy free, which makes me happy because that's like my go-to dessert <laughs> on a weeknight when I don't want to get wild and have like a scoop of ice cream or something. Oh, speaking of ice cream, I was talking about something, wasn't I? I interrupted myself. Oops. I think this is soy free. The Ben and Jerry's are soy free. At least this one is. I'm not sure if all of them are. There's only like a, a bite left in that, but um, I saved it for myself for just a bite. Just like a little tiny snack dessert for fun. And also I bought these pita breads it's from the local Armenian grocery. Avocados, bananas, mango, apple. That's pretty much all I eat. Nuts. Ooh. Is this granola soy free? Soy oil. This stuff has soy oil, which makes me a little sad because I want to try it, but I can have it next week. I wanted to look at the mayonnaise. <laughs> I thought about that because I saw the chickpeas and I thought about making a chickpea sandwich and would that be soy safe? And it is soy free. Um, yeah. Goodbye. Hope you enjoy my week of soy-free vegan foods.
And then later for lunch, I took one of those whole wheat pitas and I spread regular hummus on one of them. And then I did spicy hummus on the other. I used broccoli, carrots, chickpeas, and spinach. And I also put seasoning and nutritional yeast in it. Oh, and avocado in some of them. The avocado wasn't that great, so I didn't use very much of it. This wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be because I was just feeling like, oh, I just wanna shove some stuff in the pita bread and it's gonna be delicious. But you know, it was a little bland, if we're being honest. What I should have done was cooked the chickpeas on the stove, you know, like sauteed them with some oil, and that would have been delicious, but I was too lazy to do that, so I just shoved them in there um, straight from the can. <laughs> the spicy hummus one was obviously better, and obviously it also would have been better if I used the white wheat pitas, um, but I was trying to be a little more healthy. That is not a bad meal. I just was lazy. That's why I talk about what I want to do next time. I hope you guys understand that. I'm not trying to just like complain. You know, sometimes you make a meal when you're like feeling lazy or when you're just like, oh, I'm gonna see how this is, and that's not that good, and so I'm telling you like what I did wrong and what I'm gonna do different next time. Also adding in like a sauce would have been good too, but I didn't really have any sauces that I wanted to use. Like if you had like a tahini sauce sort of thing, that would be good, spicy tahini sauce, ooh. And then coconut clusters. You're gonna see me eat these a lot throughout the week. And for dinner, this is my favorite dinner of the week. I kid you not, I don't know why I don't know why you would think I was even kidding. I don't know why I said that. <sighs> Anyways, I, this is some rice. I don't, I'm getting sick of that rice. It's actually sushi rice and we just bought a bulk bag of it. I don't remember why. Um, It's not bad rice. It's just like, it's sushi rice. And so it's not exactly the primary rice you should get. Like I need to just, I, I need to stop getting like bulk one type of rice and get like three different kinds of rice in like not bulk. So I can have like basmati rice for when I want to make Indian food. And then I can have like regular brown rice for when I just want to have anything. And then I should get jasmine rice because I love jasmine rice. Although my mom hates it when I cook it because she thinks it smells like feet but I think it smells delicious. I don't know about you guys. Comment down below what you think jasmine rice smells like. Do you think it smells good or do you think it smells like feet? Anyways, this was some lentil dal. I put carrots in it. Normally I would put spinach in something like this, but I live with actual babies. Um, my parents are babies and they won't eat spinach, but later on in the week, you'll see me microwave it with spinach, um, which I don't know, is that bad to microwave greens? I don't know, I do it, I think it's fine. These headphones are hurting my ears. So yeah, that was my dinner. I'll put the recipe below because it's honestly so good. I'm gonna start making this like every week. I feel like this was cereal day. I had some fruity sea stars with some toasted oats, cereal, and almond milk. And then later that day, um, I had to get my car oil changed. It was just supposed to be like there for a few hours and then it ended up being there for like 24 hours because they had to order something. I guess my door was broken. I don't think it was. I think they broke it because I've never had a problem with my door before that. I think you guys did that yourself and you're just not wanting to own up to it. I'm just kidding. I love you forward um you provided me with a great vehicle it gets me to places that i need very well anyways so i was stuck at my mom's work for a few hours um so then she could take me home because i didn't have a car and i drank she just went to trader joe's on her lunch hour so she had like a bunch of trader joe's stuff at the workplace so i she had this vanilla chai almond coconut pea protein thingy um i liked it wasn't what i expected i know a lot of people don't like it because it's pea protein but i don't know i thought it was good i would drink it again also from trader joe's she bought two of those pre-made wrap boxes that they have um each box has two wraps in it so she ate one of each and i ate one of each this is the mediterranean hummus veggie wrap or something like that and then the other one is like a lavash mm, spicy lentil wrap i think and it comes with a spicy tahini sauce which is so good and then some of this cranberry berry salad stuff that I talked about in my fall foods Liz video thingy that I uploaded the other day. Um, and then for dinner, I had some leftovers of the lentil doll with some rice and I microwaved that with some vegetable broth and spinach. Um, I used the vegetable broth to thin it out a little bit because I like it a little more moist and juicy and saucy. And I forgot what I was gonna say. My ears are hurting so much. And then I ate that like last bite of ice cream. And I know this looks gross. I don't have an excuse for that. The next morning, I had some vanilla almond spiced chai drink from Trader Joe's and peanut butter toast again, but with apples this time and some cinnamon because that's just what we had. I don't know. And I had a bunch of mushrooms and broccoli and spicy hummus and I ate the rest of my mom's veggie wrap um, that she didn't eat the other day. And then some coconut clusters as a snack before my night class. And then when I got home from my night class, I had the same thing again. Um, 
as maybe you've been able to tell by now, I'm the only one who eats leftovers in the house most of the time. And spiced cider. I drank some spiced cider, which I also talked about in my fall foods video. I drank this throughout the week. I didn't film it every time that I drank it because I don't want to film it 50 times and show you 50 times because you don't need to see that 50 times. But it's good stuff. And then for breakfast the next day, I made, I had cereal again, but I didn't want to just eat the same exact thing so i try to like spice it up and this is also cool if you want to add like if you would just want to have cereal just plain cereal but you want to add some protein but you don't have protein powder you can mix in some peanut butter powder to the milk and pour that in the cereal i also mixed in some cinnamon and maple syrup and chia seeds um the cinnamon i put too much cinnamon and i tried to pick some out and that didn't really work um so it's a little too cinnamony i don't even really know why i put cinnamon in there cinnamon's good for you right and i don't know what happened to my lunch there, there should be a lunch in here somewhere but i can't find footage of a lunch um it's a little concerning i know i ate something but i don't know what so just pretend it's pro honestly it's probably leftovers let's just say it was the lentil stuff because i feel like that's what it was for dinner i made that spaghetti and spaghetti sauce leftovers that i showed you before um without realizing that it was probably past past date it smelled a little weird i'm not gonna lie um i probably shouldn't have ate it but i did and i was fine i ended up being fine i'm still fine today this was like a week ago um i just put some chickpeas in it so i could add some more protein might sound like a weird combination it is but i don't think that it tastes bad and then for breakfast the next day had some pumpkin rolls from trader joe's also showed these in the fall foods video i was surprised to find out that these were completely soy free even the icing honestly it's starting to feel like i missed something because that was surprising to me i basically just assumed that like every processed junky food has like some sort of soy in it because that just seems like the usual but um it didn't and i'm sorry this wasn't focused it would have been such a beautiful shot but at least it focuses later and you can watch that nice drippage action and i don't know why i was struggling so hard with this first bite um and then since i ate that and i felt bad about myself i not really i just wanted to eat something kind of healthy for later i made a smoothie with some frozen kale and bananas and strawberries and almond milk i'm gonna show you what i do when i want to eat greens in my smoothie but i don't have a good green blending blender what i do is i blend some greens with some water and i blend that until i cannot blend it anymore and then i pour that i strain it into a jar or a cup or something and i try and move it around so i can push all the liquid out of it and you'll know when you're done because it'll look like moss this makes a lot more sense if you're making it on large scale because this is kind of too much effort to put in just for one smoothie but yeah then you get this green juice and i add that into my smoothie and the dry stuff honestly you can mix that into applesauce and then like not even taste it if you have the right amount of applesauce to kale ratio i've done that before and it was like i was just eating applesauce yet i was also getting some greens in there and then for a snack i had some spicy hummus and regular hummus with some whole wheat pita and some broccoli for dinner i had some more leftovers um not surprising and then for breakfast i was at my grandma's house and i made some mint oats with some blueberries that's why it's purple and i added in some almond milk and bananas and strawberries i brought the almond milk from my home and then when i came home i had a leftover half of a pumpkin roll that from the other day um so good and then for lunch i probably shouldn't have made this for lunch because i had a very similar thing for dinner can you guess what that was anyways for lunch i sauteed some peppers with some spinach and some oil and seasoning and then i put in some rice and beans very fancy very um authentic um very gourmet if i do say so myself um avocado and salsa on that ish delicious easy recipe meal looks kind of gross i understand and then for a snack you remember that stuff i made the other day it was like milk almond milk and i put in some peanut butter powder and chia seeds and i shook it up and stuff well i added more chia seeds to it put it in the fridge so it'd be like a chia seed pudding and i also added some cocoa powder without remembering that there was cinnamon in it and there was a lot of cinnamon in it so it was this weird cinnamon chocolate thing that i didn't care for very much um and so that's why i'm mixing in peanut butter to that which made it okay and then for dinner 
I, would you know it, I had some Chipotle. It's starting to become a trend that Chipotle is going to be in most of these what I ate in a day, and, or what I ate in a week, and I don't plan on that stopping. Anyways, that was all that I ate for the week, and I hope that you found that interesting. Um, if not, I have nothing to, I have nothing else to offer, so, um, this is Emily signing off, um, back to other Emily. Hey there! Look how smooth my skin looks in this camera. I wanted to share some final thoughts with you about my week void of soy. Honestly, it wasn't hard at all. It was, it was not difficult at all. I think the only thing, the only trouble that I had, um, God damn it, now I'm thinking of Taylor Swift. The only kind of like challenge that I had this whole time was like out when I was at my grandma's house and we were all gonna get food and usually we pick up Chinese food um, and I was thinking about it and I was like, man, I don't really know what I would get there because, you know, a lot of things have soy sauce in them. All the vegan stuff is, I think, either tofu and then I think their vegan meat is all soy, probably. I didn't ask because we ended up getting Chipotle, you saw that. But it, it would have been a little difficult. I would have definitely had to ask some questions. If anyone out there is allergic to soy, what do you do about Asian food restaurants? Do you just ask questions? Um, or are there some specific dishes that you know never have soy in them? Or what? Because I just didn't know. I just chose the easy way out and did Chipotle. Honestly, I noticed that my breakfasts didn't change hardly at all. I think the only thing that I eat in the morning, like for breakfast, that has soy in it is soy milk, basically, which is like the easiest thing to switch out because you just get almond milk or whatever other milk. For me, I love tofu and I love edamame. Getting the pre-shelled edamame is like frozen is really like the best thing for me because if I ever have a meal where I just want to add in some quick protein, just like some noodles or like a stir fry or whatever, you can just pop those in and that's really nice. But honestly, like it wasn't hard. The only thing, there was a lot of things that had soy oil in them. I think that was like just a little disappointing because it was like this product is like basically soy free, but then they just had to throw in some soy oil, which could could have been replaced pretty easily with how many other oils there are out there. Yeah, honestly, I thought it would be a little more climactic. It wasn't. Um, but what the thing that I was like starting to say in the like inventory check, um, and then I interrupted myself. I think there's like a misconception with like people who aren't vegan or people who are new to veganism or whatever, that they just kind of assume with like every vegan alternative that it's soy when that's just not the case. A lot of the time it is because soy is cheap and it's very versatile. This is another reason why I wanted to do this video because they think every alternative that we use is like soy. They think we're eating so much soy when in reality like most vegans don't eat that much soy. Like they might eat more soy than they, than they did before they were vegan but most of the time it's not like a crazy amount of soy, like a dangerous amount. A lot of dairy alternative products are often made out of like nuts, um, like cashews or almonds or coconut. So a lot of the time they don't even have soy in them. And same with like meats. Um, a lot of meats are soy. I would say most meat alternatives would be soy, yeah. But there's a lot of other brands like Field Roast that I think most of their products are actually made out of wheat. And I've seen some made out of just like various vegetable proteins or out of beans. I'm not trying to say that it's like, oh, it's so easy to be soy free and vegan at the same time um, because I only did it for a week. Comment below if you want to see me do this another time in the future. Um, I wouldn't do it for a while though because, you know. But comment if you would want to see me give up other things like gluten. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you found it interesting and got something out of it and you didn't just sit there the whole time being like, haha, all of this is obvious common sense. See you later. Please subscribe.